Good morning, good morning, good morning. Happy Friday to you guys. Listen, we made it to the end of another week. You ought to give God praise just for that. Good morning, good morning, good morning. For this is the day that the Lord has made and we will rejoice and be glad in it. It's a day we've never seen before, a day we will never ever see again. Good morning, good morning, good morning. Hey there, Heartbeat Yvette, Heartbeat Yvonne, Heartbeat Sherry, Heartbeat Carolyn, Heartbeat Rainy, Heartbeat Lamont, Heartbeat Bernice, Heartbeat Eva, Heartbeat Belinda, good morning, good morning, hey Heartbeat Melodia, Heartbeat Nicole, hey Heartbeat Chris, great job last night once again, good morning, good morning, good morning. And hey, Harvey Lish, and good morning, good morning, good morning, and welcome to the Gathering of Hearts on this morning. I am Regina Banks, your GPS, the wholeness, aka I'm the Heart Gatherer. And this morning, your daily dosage is a continuation of what we've been doing all week. Make room part five, make room part five. And so a re quick recap, we started off talking about making room for God, making room in your heart. Heart, making room for him in your thoughts. And we use the um, scripture of Isaiah. Let me get back to that real quick. 54 2 in the easy reading version. And it said, Make your tent bigger, open your doors wide, don't think small, make your tent large and strong. And so we started talking about, you know, we've got to allow room for God to come in. We've got to make room for him. And we said we make room by one being, oh, hey, Harpy Yolanda, we make room by being obedient to his word first and foremost. Hey, Harpy Tanya, secondly, we make room by believing God, being fully persuaded like Abraham, that God is is who he said he is and then we said we make room by always remembering you need God this is how we make room in our hearts never forgetting that it is God that is your source never forgetting that how how many successes that you may have that you did not do it on your own and so that is the way we make room in our hearts and so yesterday we started out talking about how to make room in our thoughts you know bring our thought life up up to God. Number one, we said switch your brain and reject smallness. Know that you can do it all. And so you've got to be like the kids. You've got to dream big and then dream even bigger. You know, understanding this, that there is no limit. There are no limits in God that you can never tie the holy the hands of the Holy One of Israel. So always speak big. Always speak bigger. Reject smallness. God did not create you you that way. Remember, God said, I gave you my son, Jesus, that you might have life and have life more abundantly. More abundantly doesn't sound like it's something small, does it? No. And so you've got to dream big. You've got to be intentional about this thing. Listen, when he says this, reject smallness, it means this. Don't worry about your past life. Don't say, you know, I'm not qualified for this or I don't have the degree for that. You know, don't you understand that a GG, God given, is way better than a PhD, a BA, a BS, a MA, a MS, a MDiv. Listen, when you've got God's grace attached to you, you can go far. So you've got to dream big. And so today we're going to close out with um, make room. For new friendships, make room for new relationships, make room for the divine appointments. How do I do that, Pastor G? I'm so glad you asked because I really, really, really want to share this with you. Listen, you've got to make room for the new relationships that will stretch you, that will push you higher in the things of God. Here's the thing. This is how we mess up. We don't um, expect it to come from certain people. You know how you got this thing where um, I know they're not going to help me or I know it's not going to come, you know, from, you know, this ethnic group. You've got to, you know, free your mind of all of that. It is going to come from the people that you most expect it to come from. I mean, you know, when we look at the conversation between, uh, I mean, not the conversation, the relationship between Jonathan and David, you know, they were good friends. They were like best friends. And listen, 
Jonathan was the son of Saul, the man who was going after David, but that did not stop them from having a great relationship. I'm sure that David was shocked, you know, when, when Jonathan came to give him some intel about what Saul was planning for him. And so blessings come from the most, you know, people that you don't even think about. And so you've got to enlarge the way you think. You've got to, you know, let your thoughts run away with you and don't think small. Don't think that help is only going to come from your circle, from the people you know. Do you understand how big our God is? That God can bring somebody from another country. Think about, you know, how Isaac and Rebecca met. You know, Rebecca came from another land. She wasn't where Isaac was. Listen, God can do whatever he wants to do to carry out his vision. So don't, you know, think small thinking that it has to come from someone that you know. Even look, let's think about the woman at the well. Remember but Jesus was passing through. We know the Jews and Samaritans didn't mix, but what happened when she came in contact with Jesus, her life changed. The trajectory of life was totally different for her. Her narrative changed. So she was no longer just a woman with a water pot. No, she was no longer the woman that had been with the various men. No, this time when she went back to talk to the men, she was telling the men, come see a man who told me all about me. Come see a man that changed my life and so you've got to make sure that you're not stuck that you're not stagnated in your circle in your group thinking that that's how your blessing is going to come it is not listen God is doing a new thing so he's using new people people that you don't know people that you have never ever come in contact with that's why it's a divine appointment so listen heartbeat nation make room for God this morning make room for God in in your life. Make room in your heart and make room in your thoughts. God is doing a new thing. Remember, we're not going back to the old. We're staying over in the new where God is taking us into our divine destiny. This is the year 2024 where you will find out what you are famous for in heaven. So Harvey Nation, make room part five. Amen. Hey, listen, that's the daily dosage for today. Make room part five. If you have not subscribed to the YouTube channel already, please do so because there you can find all of your dosages in one place. Follow me on social media platforms. God wants me whole. Visit the website, godwantsmewhole.org. You know how we do this thing. Come on, let's say it together. Say, God wants me whole and I am. Again, I'm Regina Banks, your GPS to wholeness, aka I'm the heart gatherer. I love you guys a bunch. Go out there, have a spec while amazing day. Look out for falling blessings because they are falling all around you. And I will see you right back here Monday morning at 7.30 a.m. with a fresh dosage for God. Hang out with me on Sunday, 10 a.m. All of the information is on the website under the conference tab. And ladies, 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 don't forget we're doing the whole woman on Monday. And ladies, 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 you all showed out last night. You made sure that the men in your lives was on um, in the Zoom room last night. We had a fantastic time. Shout out again to all of the speakers, Pastor Kevin Hart, Chris the Barber, and Cliff Durham. They did a wonderful job on the whole man in teaching, sharing their testimonies about there is life after a mistake. Hey, listen, life's been addiction. I love you guys a bunch. Make it spec while amazing. Have a great weekend, and I'll see you right back here on Monday.